overseas for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this is his first big tournament back. Uh, he showed up at Raceway Fridays this past week, but that's really the only thing he's been to since uh, he returned. So yeah. I know he's been to a couple tournaments in Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he went to Uprising in Korea, but he's certainly been to a lot of tournaments all yeah. over that region. And he was telling me he was able to visit Japan a little bit over his break as well. Okay, so it's going to be Ike versus Zelda here. Interesting. Now, back when everyone thought Ike was a top tier in the first couple weeks, Shine was playing this character quite extensively, actually. Obviously, these are two characters get quite a lot of mileage out of Battlefield, and it's going to be anti taking the first 59% of this match. Yeah, and you know, we saw the Ike last set, but it did not look like this. Shine has all of these Nair conversions down, and he's just going for them. Abs just to cover up the Nair on shield as well, making it just so difficult for Anti to punish him. And I love the amount of respect that Shine has for Phantom backing off and then going and mixing up some of this pressure. All right, that's going to be a lot of shield damage for Shine. Very thankful that he had almost a full shield before then because that setup probably would have broken a half shield, but the back air off of that conversion is going to be the first talk on for Shino. Okay, that was kind of cute from Anti. I'll give him that one. Great guy, Smash. He's still in this. Okay, both hits of the uppy, and the Phantom actually going to push him back. Yeah, these, these Phantoms are actually doing a lot of work for Anti, but Shine finally able to get his feet on the ground not for very long in the... Knight comes once again, amazing quick draw just to sneak by the up air. Going for the Doom's Fire, but Shine wisely parries that. Alright, the quick draw does not beat out the Knight that time. And we're seeing a whole lot of B-Binds here from Anti, but he wasn't able to find a stock for so long. 195 when that up throw finally kills. Yeah, he kept using some of those partial phantom charges, which are good at racking up damage, but they're not going to be a kill option, and he had to rely yeah. on an up throw on Battlefield, which is not something you see every day from Zelda. Wow, I'm actually really shocked that the Nair didn't connect, but Shine, aware of it, does get his jab, just making it safe once again. Just was based on that, but finds the Nair into up air and anti down to his final stock already. Down throw. He's going to look for the landing up air on the platform, but he doesn't find it. Just a bit of an awkward timing. Phantom as he uses the quick draw high this time, drops down from the platform and through. Right, the Nair, he's not going to find it, but he does get the grab again. Down throw into the forward air. And risk necessary. Does get up attack to avoid that down tilt. Nice little air dodge to avoid the explos explosion from Zelda. He did not want to risk that at all, and that up air going to put him so close to death. That was a weird hit of the neutral B. Good pleasure. Dash attack putting Anti in a very precarious situation. Teleports through. He's very oh, vulnerable. Geez. And dash attack is just going to take yeah, him just gone. loading off the top. Not sure if that was a case of bad DI or what have you, but I mean, there's not many moves that no. just take you off the top at 95 like that. No, he just exploded. And Shine has to decide, is he going to stay with Ike? You know, he looked super good, but he just has so many characters he could play. It's going to be the Iggy coming out. I like this. Now, Shine, good friends with Ketchup. Pretty good friends. No, definitely has a pretty nice Bowser Jr. that he's been playing for a little bit since Smash 4, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the up throw. DIY combos. No, he's not going to get more than two up airs, but they're into the jab. I like the use of the clown card to actually set that up, just bouncing him into the right position. Yeah, and Shine's side beats are uh, honestly just super good. He's been baiting a lot with them. Even when they're not connecting, he's forcing Anti to do something and then reacting appropriately. At that time, the Phantom's going to interrupt the clown card before it can even begin.
Oh, and nut jabs, that will be the first stock gone. Get him out of here. What a fantastic bait from Shine. Just got him to throw out the Nehru's love and just faced it perfectly to j get the jab right after. Oh, and Shine tries to jump in on the knight, but it does not work. He gets knocked away up till into the up air. No, it's not going to be it. Gins fire a bit low. Uh-oh, here we go with the platform combos. Double up here into the back here. Good DI from Anti, but the side B baits a jump out. Yeah, since we are in Smashville, there's no side platform to extend into another three or four up airs, but is able to convert off that into the back air. See, those are some experienced junior combos right there. Which reaches the other side of the stage and actually manages to get through and around the dash attack, avoiding the first hit. It actually armored through it. The spin out has a little bit of armor on it. It does. Oh, he tried to be cute. Even that down air not going to work out for him because the Mecha Koopa latched on right afterward. Alright, Jabs, that might do it from Center State. Oh, no question about it. Yeah, not even close with a lot of rage. Alright, gets the up tilt, but Shine just going to spin out, get away from there. Tries for a two frame, but he does not find it. Shine just keeping the pressure on. Yeah, Who's love gonna put him back off stage, but Anti struggling to find a kill move here. Junior's weight is not to be underestimated. Up though, I mean, I feel like the the only times Anti's been getting stocks are with these up throws. Yeah, saw him get one from that in the first game and. Good landing. You can see the amount of stun that had on Shino. Oh, and the John Snow forcing him off stage right now. At that time, the Mecha Koopa ineffective controlling that top platform where Anti was already set up beneath it. All right, back though. He's going to get off. Set up the Mecha Koopa. And the air dodge past the ledge into the Koopa Kart hammer swing attack. I don't remember what it's called, but he gets the stock. Pretty, pretty convincing there. 